no matter the time of day, New York City is always on. And it takes a lot of energy to keep that pace of life going. Over 100 years ago, the Edison Electric Illuminating Company opened the first commercial power plant and lit up Wall Street. Electric lights ended up illuminating a new way of life. Gradually, more electric appliances came into fashion and New York City evolved into the city that never sleeps. And with essential tools for everyday living, such as stoves, to vehicles getting an electrified upgrade, that demand will only increase. So what will it take to continue powering the city that never sleeps? So we have some people that like never even experience a power outage. You know what I mean? Powering New York City is a challenging job. We have over 8 million people who live and work in the city of New York, and the only way that that happens is with the use of electricity. The electricity that powers the trains, that powers the elevators, that powers the traffic lights, that powers the restaurants. All that is possible with electricity, and without it, we could not live uh, in the city that we do. But now, energy providers are faced with an enormous challenge, climate change. Older infrastructure just wasn't built to withstand the kinds of extreme weather the city experiences today. We are making investments to allow our grid to be better prepared to handle longer, hotter duration heat waves. On top of that, we're anticipating more overhead windstorms. We have recently acquired over 100 vehicles, overhead bucket trucks, so that we can fly in crews to be ready to respond to overhead events. But fortifying the system is only one piece of the plan for powering NYC well into the future. To keep the effects of climate change manageable, emissions have to go down. Con Edison has a plan to achieve 100% clean energy by 2040. Currently, approximately 85% of NYC's energy comes from fossil fuels. By comparison, upstate New York is already 88% powered by clean energy. One major reason for the difference? Not enough transmission lines to bring in clean energy from outside the city. Renewable resources take a lot of space to produce energy, and therefore there, there is a need to be able to transmit that energy from regions that you can put this equipment to the urban area of New York City. More transmission lines capable of bringing in power from clean energy sources means the city will be able to rely less on gas turbines to generate electricity and get closer to truly clean energy production. And to even further reduce reliance on gas, the city's buildings need to be electrified. Almost 70% of NYC's total greenhouse gas emissions come from buildings, and less than 5% of the city's buildings are responsible for half of that. We currently have a very large program of over $500 million to incentivize customers to convert to electric heat pumps and electric hot water heaters. And as buildings, cars, and appliances get electrified, the city's already high demand for electricity is going to increase. Are clean energy sources, like renewables, up to the task? Con Edison plans to harness 7,000 megawatts of wind power off the coast of Long Island. That's seven nuclear power plants worth of energy with no greenhouse gas side effects. Together, approximately 60 million megawatt hours of electricity are expected from their solar and wind facilities over the next five years. To put this into perspective, the subway uses about 1.8 million megawatt hours of energy in a year making Con Edison's projected five-year production of wind and solar enough to fully power the entire NYC subway system more than six times over. Keeping the lights on in New York City is no small feat. Con Edison's goal of 100% clean energy by 2040 is right around the corner. And by ensuring that people have access to safe, reliable energy, they're preserving the magic of New York City for years to come.